Okay, so this is Dragonstone for the Amiga. I believe this is my first time playing this. I remember, I seem to vaguely recall a demo of this some years back. Uh, okay, so select the UK flag. <laughs> Dragonstone. Okie dokie, hopping in our name. So yeah, visually pretty impressive at the moment. It's kind of refreshing to see this done by a core design. I know they were responsible with Heimdall at least Heimdall 2 might have done the first one as well. I know they're mainly all about the platformers like Chuck Rock 1 and 2, Wonder Dog, one or two others I'm sure. Oh, okay, Dark Back... Might be where I'm getting confused from. A game called Dark Mare. Okay. Because I think with Dark Mare you start in like a city, don't you? That's probably where I'm getting confused. Yes, I should really bring up the manual as well, because I'm sure there's a few more uh, functions to explore. Okay, we find finally found another location. It wasn't just this is like I say, pretty much shoves you right into the fray of it, doesn't it? There's no doesn't sort of easily I don't know, just like throws you into the thick of it. What are we going here? Ooh, okay. First thing we do is we enter some complete stranger's house, go to their bed, and attack all their barrels. Um, oh, it's space to talk to them. Okie dokie. I must say, Zil, you look very adventurous. I wonder if you can help me. I seem to be missing the final ingredient for my broth. It's a herb. We could have that, indicated by the leaf bottom left. That needs a good supply of water to grow. I'll be very grateful. Ah, you have to. Oh, there you go. I recognise that smell anywhere. I'll trade you a nice big bowl of broth for it. Uh, sure. Just add it to the pot and give it a quick stir. There, it's finished. Hmm, okay. Select item to use. The person.
The markings on the scroll make no sense. Reading them is impossible. The markings on the scroll make no... Oh yeah, that's the same bit. They seem to transform when you move. Oh, <laughs> Granny's broth. Very strong smelling creative. Okay. Strange old... How do you know she's... She doesn't seem strange. Strange old woman who is probably a lot wiser than she seems. Okay. Oh. Oh, we grabbed a bit of food and our health increased slightly. I might take this opportunity to see... This oh, sorry, they should be this should be a manual present to this one. Uh, okay, Amiga Dragon Stone should be able to locate one without hassles. Find out. Okay, not too big a manual here. How many pages have we got to look at? Looks like just 14, that's not bad. Move your joystick in the direction you want your character to walk, press the fire button, swing your sword, keeping fire, keeping fire depressed charges up your psychic, oh yeah, the little fireball thing. When it reaches a limit, you're over to fire. Oh, it's, it's known as a psychic bolt. And spacebar is it? Yep, we clocked on to that. Oh, rapidly? Okay, so looking at the hint section as well, provided on the manual. Provi yeah, provided with the manual. Rapidly pressing the fire button reduces the hit strength of your sword. To utilize your sword's maximum potential, brandish it wisely. So don't spam it, in other words. Don't be overzealous with the sword, as not everybody is your enemy. Okie dokie, gold is not overly important, but make sure you are not without some. And information is priceless. Okay, I don't think there's other hotkeys. Oh, the other section, okay, it's in a different language. Okay, so it's not too bad, actually. Can we, uh, mm, do we really want to do this? Okay, <laughs> I, I gotta experiment, you gotta experiment. Like if you did mo if you did murder the old lady, it will probably just be on us. You know, we'll probably get screwed over later on in the game. Not really a fan of the way the enemies respawn. And they don't seem to just regenerate every time you sort of go and like return to an area. They seem to just the yes, they seem to like constantly do that. Markings on the scroll have formed into 
a text the heading reads language of the earth oh. oh is that what we were supposed to do i don't <laughs> okay i don't even know where that area was um oh he's he's here for a fight Do I still have the scroll? I do. That's kind of cool. I like that you can s sort of examine, you know, not just like specific areas, but just anywhere in the game, it seems. That's... Can you press space here? I can't. <laughs> that would have been amazing if I saw the image of the orc attacking us. This is an orc. He's currently dismembering our limbs. Uh, oh yeah, Perix is that. Yeah, timing when you swing the weapon is important. I noticed that um, I got attacked uh, in mid-swing and I couldn't really execute the rest of the attack. Oh, he, he just doesn't want to know us, okay. I seem to fire that off quickly as well. Took me longer to charge up my psychic bolt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven spleen escaping from my body. Okay, I think I kind of soft lock the enemies. Yeah, that they, they do have a tendency to respawn very quickly, which is I'm not really a fan of that. On the other hand, at least we've got a... Seems like we're a bit stronger now. Ah, disappointed not to see a troll. Oh, oh, I was going to say disappointed not to see a troll on the bridge, but instead, <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't make a pantomime of this. Okay, he can't pass the wizard. I guess we have to talk to him. Let's examine him first of all. Elderly man dressed in fine robes. I am Tide, an apprentice to Neptune, Neptine, the great mage, and I are waging a battle against the uh, uh, Triumvirate, Triumvirate. To aid our fight, we are asking for a small donation of 10 gold pieces. <laughs> this is like Twitch before Twitch. Um... I have a feeling that if I select no, I'll pr he'll he'll get angry and would fight me. I don't really want to fight a wizard. Let's go for yes. 
Your donation will be used wisely. Before you go, I must warn you of Spydra, who guards the stone circle to the Baghadan village. Use your psychic bolts to stun her and then attack with your sword. Good luck, traveler. <laughs> that could be a cheer response. Just, just like a wizard. No, no sound. Just like a wizard face just staring at you. Yeah, your, your donation will be used wisely. <laughs> See, okay, he's disappeared for good that time. Yeah, I'm sort of half wondering what happened if I declined. Maybe, maybe if I did decline the offer, he would have just blocked my path until I did donate. Hmm, okay, it looks like he could have gone down there. Do we go right here? We do go right here, okay. Interesting. Do we venture in that way? Ooh, what's this guy? A grey imp? Seems to be hiding away. Oh, you, oh, nasty, nasty imp. Where's he gone off to? Oh, oh, <laughs> I thought, the way he just stayed stationary, I thought he um, was something you, someone you interact with. about mushrooms. You can't examine the mushrooms. Big red mushrooms. He's just admiring the view. Have I gone that way before? Ooh. 
Wait, was there? I could have sworn there was a passageway. Like at the very bottom of the forest. Or maybe you have to get there through other means. Oh, hello. Oh, so you, oh, you come from that bit. What, <laughs> what a cool surprise. Uh, what's the, the purpose of this bit, though? Oh, okay, it doesn't look like it. doesn't look like that's anything. Okay, you can look at that. Just as, I, just as I'm about to get wiped out. A large part of the bridge is missing. No, I'm surprised you can't just jump that. <laughs> it's not a very... It's not really a large part missing, is it? So I'm guessing... Can we just... Oh, you can't use that. Oh, okay, I thought that was just like a healing item. Mm hmm. Okay, so we need to find something to cross over that bridge. Okay, we've been down, yeah, we've been down there before. It's kind of weird going down that bit, because it looks like a nice sort of secret bit, but when you go there, you don't really get any rewards. It's just an enemy that spits acid at you. I mean, we we could try using the scroll again, see if that solves it. Okay. Uh, seriously, I'm I'm not exactly athletic myself. I'm I'm probably sure I could easily jump that. Mm, 
we're practically a skull in the ways of energy now. One or two more hits and we're dead. And yeah, these guys just like to show up to respawn a lot. I'm just kind of curious. There's, there's nothing here, is there? Unless something here? Oh, okay. Do we use the scroll here then? Oh. So, no, no. Oh, wait, what happened there? And now a pathway has risen from the water. Okay, that didn't seem too obvious to do that. Great. Great timing. This is our reward. What about here? No, nothing there. <laughs> Did I, oh, 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 okay, we still live. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Didn't actually expect to have lives on this. Uh, much less, you know, continue exactly where we left off. Okay. Ah, uh, that was something. Oh, what's this? So whatever. Yeah, we just picked this thing up. Was it like a stone? A strange stone. Warm piece of rock that looks out of place. Hi, Joe Thurf. Hi, Joe Thurf. How's it going? Uh, what game is this? This is Dragonstone. This is done by uh, made by Core Design. And yeah, it's, uh, it's quite challenging, that's for sure. Yeah, lots, you can, they got a certain vibe, haven't they? Like, especially with their um, platformers as well. Got very sort of, I don't know, like a sort of cartoony quality to it. I think I did that before, didn't I? Can you, can you attack these? Um, okay, so we went here before, used the, I'm guessing it's, what was it called, an earth scroll? So to, yeah, to stretch that path across? Do we use the, um, can't use that there, okay. Yeah, trying to figure out what we use the string, uh, what we use that stone for. 
maybe there's area maybe there's an area which we need to sort of plonk the stone on so we can use the earth scroll later to teleport don't know don't know just throwing out words Yes, feel the sneeze coming. Okay, that is really cheap when I'm about to sneeze. Just don't just ambush me like that. Okay, yeah, not sure how to cross the bridge just yet. Maybe, I think I've done everything here, so probably just retrace my steps. Well, this bit looks a bit different. Ah, a large part of a large part of one of the stones that seems to be missing. So is this where we use the strange stone on that? Ah, there we go. You place the stone on top of the large rock. It's a perfect fit. So, does that mean we use the Earth Scroll? on this now. Skin begins to tingle. Okay. Have we been here before? Oh, have we been? Oh, it looks like we could go up that part. That's just me. A bunch of strong brands. Oh, is this where we fix up the bridge then? It re hmm. I'm not sure if that's just a uh, bad design or not. It really looks like you could go up that path. The sound effect when you're hitting the enemy reminds me, I think it sounds identical to, um, uh, what was that game called? Heimdall 2 when you're hitting the enemy. Well, it sounds a bit like that. Okay, I guess we use the scroll again.
Maybe we need to use it again? Okay, so it looks like the teleports, or rather these areas, are just like um, A to B and B to A. I thought that if you continue to use them, you'll be teleported to different areas. Okay, and, then, and now we need to find a way to get back to that bridge, because I'm quite certain that those branches are used to... Uh, uh, yeah, from the bridge. Can't really think of anything else. It, it's just a bit. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> Again, I know I've said this for the third time now, but to like, you don't even need to jump over that. You can just like. Take one wide step, and you probably make it. Okay, there we go. Use the sticks to bridge the gap. Yeah, again, it definitely looks like you can exit that area and go to another part. Ooh, new enemies. Yeah, these could be annoying. Uh, the wizard mentioned about the boss, so probably expecting a bigger spider later on. That uh, makes sense because they're so small, they bypass the fire. <laughs> you better run. Is that that looks like a big web, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, what did the wizard say? Stun him with the ah, oh, what's that called? Psychic bolt. That's very fancy. So can we just attack him like this? Ah, there we go. 
Ooh. Oh wow, okay. Okay, this isn't gonna be easy. Okay, so when he's so when you use the side bolt, he'll go to sleep, and then when he's asleep, you smack him a couple of times. Oh, that missed. And I really thought that was just like a healing item, that broth, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, finally, that took a bit of a beating. Shep16, hello, how's it going? Anyone else get no audio? Oh, is there normally audio to this game? I thought it was just uh, sound effects. I 
I didn't even know there was music to this one. There wasn't any... I don't think there was an option to select music. I'd say, yeah, hope all is well, Chef 16. Sorry that you're depressed that there's no game music. Maybe the sound effects are just really quiet. Um, let's have a look. Okay, I've notched the volume up a tiny bit, so that makes a difference. You heard that? Okay. Okie dokie. Oh wow. Uh, okay. Uh, that that's a password, is it not? <laughs> Quick, write that down. Okay, at least you got <laughs> I, I would have laughed if it just said um, you know, it didn't say press fire to start, it just put you to the next level immediately. Okay, I'll tell you what. Safe state would be easier than that. So yeah, get ready for that password. Cruzively Mnel will five to the be high up. Oh, we've got trolls now. Some writing carved into the rock. Oh, the language of the water must be spoken. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing that this would have no use. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh wow, we're in, uh, is that a tavern? Can you attack those people? Just enjoying his pie, we just like stab him in the back. Okay. So the bartender, oh wow, very, uh, very pleasant looking face there. Welcome to the Dutch Inn. Tankard of ale is one gold coin, but the first drink is on the house. My god, why can't all pubs be like that? Uh, yeah, definitely interested. You sip cautiously, then discover the great taste. Oh yeah, the great taste of beer. Mmm, I see you have a fondness for our ale. 
you want to be careful as it is quite strong. The barbarians over there always drink a lot of ale, which makes them great customers, but they do tend to get rowdy and are not too friendly towards anybody. There's also a rumour that they are working with a pair of thieves in this area, so keep a lookout. Do we care for another drink? Yes. With gusto, you drink the lot in one go. I must say, you have a mighty thirst. Oh man, this is like every, it's like every text and this is every text adventure. This is every graphic adventure. Are we going to get like an immediate game over? Hang on, we'll, we'll get back to this part. Because there's, um, there's this guy as well. A short man with a long beard. That uh, is accurate. Would you like to... Oh, God's sake! <laughs> Everyone wants me drunk. A man after my own heart. I remember a time in this village without those a barbarian. Ah, they will hear you. I don't care. I'm sick and tired of them picking on the villagers, and they seem to take a special interest in my friend. He has to stay indoors. He's so scared. It's a good job he is so content with his work. That reminds me, it's his 30th anniversary as a word, as a wordsmith today, and I promised to go and visit him. Thanks for the chat. I hope we meet again in warmer surroundings. Bye. See you tomorrow, Billy. His name's Billy. Bye. Uh, Hedy? Hedy, the short man with the big beard. Okay. Hmm. We go down. We go down here. Ooh, what on earth is that? Is that where they make all the alcohol? A strange contraption. Probably used R ah, for making the air. The air. Okay. Uh, can we use the broth? No. <laughs> Just like mix it all in. Amiga Live. Hello, man. How's it going? Go get them. We will try. We will try our best. Yeah. Hope hope all is uh, hope all is well on your end. It's um. Wow. I just realised the time we. I didn't realise how quickly it's been. So yeah, we try to play. We try to give each game an equal showing of like an hour, maybe slightly over than. I didn't realise it went that quickly. So I'm kind of I don't know. I'm getting into it now. It's always it's always when I start to get into it is when time runs out. So okay. Okay, we gotta so we keep on buying the ale then. I think we got enough money to so always of yeah, I guess so. I guess so. There are some there are some there are some games that take a while to get used to and then as soon as you get used to it, yeah, it's like oh okay. As you stare at the bottom of the next empty tankard, you can't help but chuckle to yourself. Surely you can't want another. You must be celebrating. As you steadily finish another tankard, you notice the great taste seemed to have disappeared. Is it we are six tankard? Yes. Suddenly everything falls away from you. I home pizza. Nice. 
I tried to warn him, but he just kept drinking. Oh. Oh. Okay, so you just lose a life over that. Oh, you had a commercial about pizza. Oh, okay. <laughs> and yet we lost a life. Um, okay, can we talk to these barbarians? Doesn't seem like it. An awkward atmosphere. I mean, that's, um, that's like every pub, isn't it? Isn't it? Can we attack these guys? Oh, I really wanted to attack them. Uh, here's, what, here's what I was expecting. I was expecting we'd damage one and then all the barbarians sort of gang up and just like mash us down. Baz, hello. You keep getting the same two members. That's, um, that's annoying. Uh, at least, you know, variety is good. Uh, I know for a little while it used to be that Audible advert. Susie, hello. This is Dragonstone. It's quite interesting. You get adverts in French. Yeah, so um what what is my setup? I think it's around I think it's around every 35 40 minutes you get something like an advert that lasts like a minute or a combination of adverts. Unfortunately, I can't determine what um <laughs> what country advert you get. Can't change that around. Because, yeah, I was about to say, well, at least there's some variety, but Baz is saying he's got the same two adverts. I guess um, I guess the bigger they are, the more sort of uh, ads they can churn out. I don't know. I've got to a stage where I don't mind ads that much. However, there was a time, I think they stopped doing them now, thank goodness, but um, it was the Audible adverts. Oh, that's right. It was that um, it was that purple person that just kept uh, it was like an that's right. It was an audio book, and it's like like nine times out of ten you'd see that advert. And it's weird. You think people would get um like discouraged to be interested in their products because they just keep on. Not doing it all the time. Still get that one occasionally. Oh, hello. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, that's the guy we met from the tavern. They appeared from the shadows and attacked me. They nearly got everything I had. Pick my key. Please don't let me die in vain. The secret passage to my friend's house is through the... Oh, okay. We have to find the... Uh... Halfway of uh. <laughs> some get crunching Doritos very loudly. Oh, the whole um, noise cancellation thing. Maybe if you maybe if you bought the device, maybe you wouldn't be able to hear the guy crunching. Maybe that's what they're trying to get to. Oh. Okay, that wasn't uh, expected. We find a bottle opener. Plain old metal key. That's because they do talk to the guy again. Yep, he is dead. Can't believe it. Whoever did this must be dealt with. <laughs> A big bald man. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just mucking around. But yeah, it's weird how it causes an ads can sometimes cause an opposite effect. Having said that. I do want a chicken royale. 
and maybe a Whopper. Just for sort of nostalgia's sake. Oh, an hour's gone past. Okay. Um, I don't think I've been here before, so I better make this my last location. Oh, oh, we need to... Fair enough. I like how it's, it's got a very sort of no-nonsense approach to um, inventory and stuff. What have we got here? Is, there, is that anything? No. What's the point of this bit? Have we used the broth in the fireplace? No. Hmm. What was the purpose of going to this bit? There's got to be some kind of purpose because we used a key here. Oh, okay, I could have sworn I thought that was something. What's that? Um, oh, is that a grandfather clock? See, I thought these were... I thought these were like bottles of liqueur or whatever, and we used the bottle opener for that. Yeah, I don't see anything there. And that was where I'm guessing we needed the scroll. It's like a water scroll somewhere. Have I been down here? I think. I think I have. Have I been to that house? Can I get to that house? Uh, bottom left. Can I? It probably is too lazy instead. Yeah. <laughs> he can't talk. Fair enough. Now, was it that place? Is this the other chap? Lars, uh, Lars the Woodsman. You will have to excuse me for not getting up. I've had a terrible fever for a couple of weeks now. Okay. Oh, did we get use the broth on him? Ah, we do. Starting to feel better already. I mean, surely that broth would have been lukewarm by now. Should really get some rest now. I hope I'll see you later so I can thank you properly. Okie dokie. Okay, yep, I do apologise, I better wrap things up, we are over the hour mark. This isn't a bad game, I wasn't sure at the start, because um, it was just full of, um, you know, respawning monsters, but uh, once you sort of got past that, and the, yeah, well, I'm glad I got past the spider boss as well, there seems to be a bit of, um, I don't know, there's a bit of story there, isn't there? Quite like the way that you can interact with some of the characters... And it does make me feel tempted to uh, continue at some other point. So yeah, this one's this one's not too bad. Uh, not sure, not sure what reviews um, this game got. I would imagine that if I was to guess, probably somewhere around the 80s score, like low to mid 80s perhaps. But uh, yeah, this one's pretty solid. 